my gosh, spring is springing. It is such a magical time of year. It's one of my favorite seasons. We only have four to choose from, but it's one of my favorites. What I love about today's DIY is it is magical and it's perfect for any of those springtime occasions you may have coming up. Are you going to a music festival? Do you have prom? Do you just have a fun night out somewhere? This DIY crystal crown could be perfect for all of those occasions. It's pretty easy to make and the supplies are all very approachable and easy to get. Without further ado, let's get into it. You will need two gold toned wires, one thick and one thin. I really love this flexible but thick wire that you can find in the floral section at the craft store. You will also need a variety of quartz crystal spears. I got mine on Amazon. Wire cutters and pliers. This tool is a combo of both and some E6000 glue. Measure the thick wire around your head, giving yourself about four extra inches to make the hook and clasp and cut it. Bend one end of the wire into a loop, trimming any excess. And bend the other end into a loop, but then squish both sides together, closing the loop using the pliers to bend the doubled up end into a hook to fit into the loop on the other side, forming your clasp. There are tutorials for similar crowns that use crystal beads that have pre-drilled holes, but I want to wrap my crystals on in the middle. This also makes your crown very strong and not floppy. Plan your layout of crystals around the crown. This is where you get to personalize it. Do a small clump just in the front for a more minimalist look or go all the way around. I'm gonna do three sections with a little negative space in between. Now cut a long length of your thin wire. You can always add more, but I usually cut around two feet. Wrap the center of your wire around the center of your middle stone and twist to secure. Now you can start wrapping it onto your wire crown base. I wrap the thin wires around both the thicker wire and then back over the front of the crystal to wrap around the other side of the thicker wire and then back across the back of the crystal. Repeat this process until you feel your crystal is secure and has your desired look of pretty gold crisscrosses over the top. Now you're ready to move on to the next stone. Place it as close as possible to the first stone and use the already attached wire to twist and wrap just like you did the first one. If you run out of wire, just secure the end of the first wire by wrapping it around the larger wire and then start a new length of wire in the same way. I decided to add less crystals than I had originally laid out because I liked the way it looked with less. So just remember to keep trying on your crown as you go to make sure you're happy with how it's shaping up. Once you've secured all your crystals, flip your crown over, lay it flat, and add some E6000 glue to the center of each wire wrapped crystal. Let it dry. This will ensure that your crystals don't slip out of the wire and it will also add a layer of padding to the wire that is laying against your head. And you're ready to crown yourself. sorceress, witch, magical princess in that crown. And I think it's just so fun to pair with a variety of different looks. You could totally wear it with like bell bottoms and a cute tee, or you could do it kind of with like a big old maxi dress, very hippie witchy. Let me know in the comments what you think. And if you make one of these, I would love, love to see it. I would love to see how magical you look. So please post using hashtag Mr. Kate so I can see your magic and bask in it. Please thumbs up and subscribe. We have so many videos coming out and they're all magical. Thanks for tuning in and I love you all so much. Bye. Mr. Kate. Ooh, look at you. How are we looking? And you even have some kind of raining down here. That's I think that looks cool. Too.